Buckingham Palace has officially released two photos of a romantic glimpse of Princess Beatrice and Edordo Mapley Mazzi's flower-filled day, one day after the couple pulled off their private wedding at All Saints Chapel in Windsor. One photo shows the bride and groom exiting the chapel. Bride Beatrice wore two extraordinary pieces on loan from the closet of her grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, a vintage ivory peau de soie taffeta dress and the Queen Mary diamond fringe tiara, which was worn by the Queen on her wedding day to Prince Philip. Both the Queen and Prince Philip attended the wedding ceremony that was held in secret after the couple's original plan to wed at the Chapel Royal of St. James's Palace in London on 29 May was postponed by the global pandemic. Despite the unusual backdrop for the wedding, namely, a pandemic, Beatrice maintained some elements of a traditional ceremony, including the addition of jaw-dropping floral arrangements. Describing Princess Beatrice's bouquet, a royal representative said, Princess Beatrice carried a bouquet of trailing jasmine, pale pink and cream sweet peas, royal porcelain ivory spray roses, pink O'Hara garden roses, pink wax flower and baby pink astable. In keeping with royal tradition sprigs of myrtle were included in the bouquet. The bouquet was made by Patrice Van Helden, co-owner of RVH Floral Design. The couple would like to thank the gardening teams at the Savile Garden and Windsor Great Park. It is not known where the myrtle used in Princess Beatrice's bouquet came from, but in previous royal weddings it has been taken from a bush planted by Queen Victoria. Patrice Van Helden, who put together the bridal bouquet for Beatrice, also created the bouquet for her sister Eugenie when she married in 2018. Eugenie's wedding bouquet consisted of lily of the valley, Stephanotis pips, hints of baby blue thistles, white spray roses and trailing ivy, as well as the myrtle. The tradition of carrying myrtle began after Queen Victoria was given a noske containing myrtle by Prince Albert's grandmother during a visit to Gotha in Germany. Speaking to Country Living UK, Maddie Dawkins, head of weddings at Lavender Greenflower said, Every royal bride since Queen Victoria's daughter is said to have carried a sprig of myrtle in their bouquet. It symbolizes love and hope, although some say also it represents fertility and innocence. The bouquet held by Meghan Markle in her wedding to Prince Harry in 2018 also contained the traditional myrtle. Her flower arrangement was made up of forget-me-nots, which were Princess Diana's favorite flower, sweet peas, lily of the valley, a stilp, jasmine, and estrancho. The lily of the valley used in Meghan's bouquet was also used by Kate in her wedding to Prince William and was included to honor Princess Diana. One bride who did not include the sprig of myrtle in recent history was Camilla, who opted to include foliage from Cornwall instead. After her ceremony, Princess Beatrice followed another royal wedding tradition, sending her bouquet to the tomb of the unknown warrior in Westminster Abbey. This generation's old practice first began with Lady Elizabeth Bowles Lyon, who would later become the Queen Mother. After her 1923 wedding to the future King George VI, the bride laid her bouquet on the tomb as a tribute to her brother Fergus, who was killed during the First World War. Royal brides have since followed suit in this touching gesture.